Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and this is Creating Crafts with Jenny. This series is a part of a paint by number series that um, will probably run most of next year and we're wanting to get it started in January. So I've been painting like a crazy person um, to get these ready to go for y'all to see. So I'm hopefully be able to have at least one or two a month so that you can see paint by number techniques from a lot of different companies, a lot of different sizes, etc, etc, etc. So today I have a cute little, I'll show you what it looks like. It's, it's kind of a smaller one. Um, I don't know what the size is. It looks like it's about, I don't know, 14 by 20 or something like that. I don't know. But it, it was a pack of four, which is kind of cool. Now, Here's the thing with the pack of four. You have individual paints for each painting. So it's not a pack of four where you have to share the paints with all four of the paintings. No. It's not not like that. I have seen some like that, but no, that's not what you do. So let me show you what you get in the package. You get this little guy here. Turn the lights off for just a second. So you can kind of see what it looks like. It's having a trouble for time focusing. Sorry about that. Um, it's a cute little picture. And then you get the map here of the uh, how things work and so forth. Which is interesting because on the bottom of the painting it talks about, I mean, it does talk about, um, Even it says if it's got been creased to iron it, and it's not creased. Um, okay, which is interesting because on the bottom, it says it has 24 colors. On the bottom of the painting, it talks about drills, <laughs> which is interesting. Um, which is like, yeah, some like diamond painting, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, and they did come back in packed, which you guys know I like that. I've had this one for quite some time. I believe I got this from Amazon. They had a cute little four pack that I purchased. So, like I said, you got your map, and I don't. And let's get the year. Hey, everybody. What do I keep them, Mom? I'll go up there. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. I think he thinks we're getting right to go someplace. We usually take him with us, so it's like, wait a minute. Right. Okay, so what I was doing was grabbing some paint brushes. I got some paint brushes, and I have this thing here. Looks like they are, even though they are, um, Um, individually vacuum packed. Them. Hopefully they're not all dried out. Like I said, I've had this one for a while. Oh. And one just fell on the floor. So, and they have the numbers on them, which is nice. They got 1 through 24. So imagine the one that fell on the floor is probably an extra of something. And it's down there. So that's nice. Um, so I don't have to use my this thing here. So, and this thing, if you haven't seen it, they're just wonderful. Throughout the years, they come in, some, they first started in styrofoam and then now they're plastic. So, if they, if your things come individual and you get one of these, and I believe you can actually buy these now, which is crazy, um, it just helps you be more organized with your paintings. So, so we got everything right here. We have the standard brushes with it. So give me a few minutes to um, spend with him, <laughs> and I will get you switched down so you can see what's going on down here on the painting. Now the painting is just kind of white, uh, blackish, blackish gray lines on it, and it doesn't have extra color on it. The numbers aren't. I just recently did one, which I thought was kind of interesting, on the, the, the very light colors, like your, your whites and your beiges and things like that. Um, Instead of using like black or ink, 
or blackish ink. It was more of a gray ink, which was really nice because you could actually paint over that. I did remove some of the numbers, but sometimes I'll put large numbers and little numbers together. <laughs> so, yeah. There you go. Bye, baby. Alright. Okay. So that is that. Alright. Now I'm going to get off here and, like I said, spend some time with this angel. And I'll get you switched down and we'll do some painting over here. Talk to you soon. they sent. We also have a handful of these guys and I wonder what I wiped off the numbers. I've got that guy too. So get my numbers here. I have I really need to go through my brushes. You should see my stack of brushes. I always start with the new ones. Um I do occasionally throw these away and also trim the ends of them if I feel that they need trimmed. Let me get my glasses on and see what we got here. Yeah, let's trim them. So I just snip the ends of it off. This looks like it has. There we go. No, those are usually look good. Okay, that all the way. Alright, let's see what we got here. And it is a 30 by 40. Like I said, it's a little bit smaller. Here's what the picture looks like. I know it's blurrier. Blurrier. Blurry. Blurrier. Okay. So, let's see what we got here. We've got, got some pretty colors here. Let's see, one is pretty light number six. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. I put six up here and three down here. I dropped that one. Where did it go? And the one that I dropped is an extra 21. So I'm going to put him over here at the side because I have 21 here. There's 21. That's funny. <sighs> Um, hmm. I kind of want to do something to that one because I'm going to grab that as a three for sure. I know what I'll do. I'm going to cut these in two. Yeah. Maybe that'll help. Maybe. Six looks very similar to each other, so but we will do the right thing. Okay, there we go. I'll do the rest of them in their thing. Okay. So you can see those in there. Alrighty, let's see what we got down here. That's seven. Yeah, you guys can see it. Yeah. 
a alcohol mix made some fresh believe it or not I did so the alcohol mix is one part alcohol and that part is a 50% alcohol so if you guys can see where I'm going right here um oh, that came out really nice good 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 and then the other part is water so it's basically watered down alcohol I've had these for a while. Probably, gosh, time flies anymore. Probably a year. Okay, looks good. It covers pretty good. I don't know that I would have had to wipe out seven. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think so. Some tiny spots there. I'm using the small brush, but I've got my. Oh, look at that going out there. It's just baby wipes. They're watered baby wipes, too. No fragrance, so that's nice. These brushes are just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, maybe I should have wiped that out. I don't know. It's doing okay. this one in clusters. Um, I'm going to jump in 20. 20 is a pretty color. Yeah, normally I do not open my paint over my painting. <laughs> um, but to get you guys in focus, it just makes more sense to do it that way. You guys can see what it looks like there. There you go. And then painting right here. 20 is a pretty good size though, but it's got some little little divots here. Let me see. It's all the way up here. And the paint's going down nice.
looks good. See how those tiny brushes just kind of get right into that little tiny, tiny areas. Sweeter what? Yes, there was a twenty right next to it. Look at this one too. Wow, look at that. That looks good. That's eight. Yeah, it's about the same color. It's a blue flower. Purplish blue. Yeah. Okay. And eight. Oh, it's pretty. It's good. But there's a little white spot right there. I see it on the camera. Let's see here. Okay, so kind of focused. Let me see if I can focus you better here. It's harder for me to see it, but yeah. Good lighting is important. Yes. Okay, well, I will continue painting and then I'll film some more. Yeah. 24 is a light color, so as you can see, look at that here in just a few seconds. I may use this guy.
What do you think? I'm trying to figure out where all it goes here. save some of you. Hopefully. Yeah, still a little bit of water too. See how it's starting to, I don't know if you guys can see, it's starting to come back to life a little bit. Let's see how it paints here. Me. Me get rid of the numbers though. Because if it's that light, I'm going to have trouble here too. Let's get rid of those. I'm going to stir. You guys can see. There we go. See? So I'm just stirring in that hand sanitizer in the water. Hopes that it's it's paintable. We'll see here. There's a hundred methods out there on how to do that when they dry up like that. But hand sanitizer for some reason works really well. Looks like 24 is got quite a few of them in here too.
again here. I'm putting just a tiny bit of alcohol, the rubbing alcohol water um, concentrate on my brush just to get that paint to start moving on the canvas. Get it back into it, a liquid form. Does this always work? No. If it's just too dry, you may not have much luck with it. And we're doing okay here. Clean that off. 24 there. Your 24 dries out, and it's like this huge area. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need. Four is all snaky up here, so it's like goodness gracious. and the water and alcohol mixture for going into the paint. And I think we are having good success here. Yeah, I think we are. here.
thing with alcohol, rubbing alcohol or your water and alcohol mixture. If by chance you get it, like you, you spill it, all of your canvas, just let it dry. Don't rub it. Don't wipe it off. Just let it dry. It'll, and it dries pretty quickly too. It'll be fine. I wish I'd wipe that 24 out of there. Well, it's just coming right over there, didn't I? It actually covered pretty good. So there's paint down here. Now that my paint's starting to flow. See it goes on around. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop and let that dry before I go. No, I'm going. too much now. You may have to close 24 up for a little bit. That's okay. To you. If you're not like this painting's not very big, so you don't have that huge concern of running out of paint. Alright, I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna close up 24 so that that water stuff in there can become one and I'm just going to do 15 what's 15 oh it's a dark color that's cool it's 17 17 is another blue is okay now. But by the time I get done with the painting it might be my struggle. I 
could use written brush for this, I guess. This one. This is actually a six. It might look like a nine to you. I apologize. That is a six. And your six. Um, let's see what we want to do here. I'm gonna remove that six because that is really a light color. So I'm gonna take that off. It's not wet here. So six is so. rid of a bunch of them here. As you can see I painted last night a little bit. I didn't mean to. I just sat down and picked up the brush and started touching up some stuff and before you know it I was painting like a fool. Using some of these here. I'll keep that handy too. Let's see here. I will say there's a ton of tips out there on where to start with your paper number. You can start it any way you want to. Some people do all the light colors first. Some folks do all the dark colors first. Some paint clusters. Some folks do all the ones first. And then continue to the twos, that sort of thing. It's up to you. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Color seven. Purple. After you paint a while, you'll find that you have a method that you like and it's one you use. Will you change it up once in a while? Yeah. Yeah, you will. That's okay, too. That's okay. I remember as a kid painting oil paintings it's before acrylics came out and um, it had a particular smell I just love that smell of the paints these don't have any smell oil paints take When I say forever, um, 
I would paint for a while. As a kid, I'd paint for a while, and I'd set it up on top of the refrigerator or under the couch was a good place for it, where the cat wouldn't get into it. I think the cat liked the way it smelled, too. Um, yeah. So that he couldn't lay on it while it was still wet, so he wouldn't get paint on his fur, or paint or fur on my painting on the two. Hmm. And acrylics came out, so I was like, wow. Now I don't even know if you can find oil painting. I've seen some come close to it. Um, with the pure oil painting now. We opened up seven. Go right in here. 